Today we're going to be doing a little open route 7018 European style. I've never done this before ever in my life. Didn't even do no research at all. So I'm going to give this the old college try and probably going to hear some beeps. Uh, so what we're going to be doing it on is 3 8 plate with a 37 and a half degree bevel about an eighth inch land and about a tight eighth inch gap, probably a three thirty seconds gap. And I'm just going to clean the middle scale up and we're going to go ahead and weld this baby up and hope for the best. Today we're going to be using a Bowler Fox EV50 7018 rod, eighth inch. All right, we got this all tacked up. I should have ran a smaller gap because uh, it's already blowing through. You could tell if keyhole is big right here. Keyhole is very big up here. I put the the bigger gap up top and the bigger key up top because uh, when you're welding heat heat will pull that together so i want that to go tighter not bigger let's give it a try let's let's do good let's pray the welding gods are on my side today i think i'm gonna whip this like 70 uh 60 10. i think you gotta like go long away from your arc i'm just guessing like long away from your keyhole yeah, look, see, I tired gap I should have done. Give a look, it's eating my bevel up quick. I probably would choose 330 seconds next time, maybe. I'm just trading this like a 6 to 10, but I'm whipping, I'm like riding it like an inch up on my bevel forward. And yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of penetration, I could tell. I'm just like, not even like, I'm trying to just, dang it. Todd made me stop, and I was on a roll, and the welding gods went away. They're gonna come way up. I'm just doing a U here. Oh god, that thing's huge. It's like a freaking big hole there. Yeah. Just trying to treat this as a 6010. All right, we got this all welded up here. Uh, I don't think I did that shabby of a job. I got penetration, but my keyhole was big. So let's go ahead and chip this slag off and look at it. We're going to start here on the bottom first. So just by looking at this, since you got a wide keyhole, so you're going to get undercut. So I got a couple spots that has undercut. You can see it right here undercut, undercut. This top got hot. And that was a bad, bad restart right there. But overall, it's not that bad, I don't think, from the first time. That's 718. Uh, open reel. Hope I did it right. Uh, let me know, guys, for sure. So what I'm going to try the next time is, is I'm going to do the same plate, same size plate and everything. Eighth, eighth inch laying the same, but I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to tighten this bad boy up all the way to probably a 16th or maybe a little tighter than a 16th and try that if that's gonna help me control my keyhole. I'm already noticing that was a bad idea, I think, because I'm not getting no penetration, really. You know what's coming through? It's flux coming through that tight crack. <laughs> that's pretty bad. So I turned my dig up to 10%, it was at zero, and I upped my amp from 115 to 130, just because my fit up, it was telling me, it's like, hey, I'm not getting no penetration, not doing good. So I'm gonna kinda of push my rod this time, and and that's why I turned my dig up so I won't snuff it out. Uh, let's hope for the best and give this a shot. Let's give it a try. All right. And it's not going in. And I'm pushing hard as I can. Pushing hard as I can. Pushing hard as I can. And this is embarrassing, guys. Look, I'm like pushing hard. And it's not even breaking through. Break through. I shouldn't have put no land in. I'm literally like pushing hard, like maybe five pounds on it. And it's bad. I mean, I literally, I'm pushing hard. I'm trying to get it. All right. Oh, oh my God, we got, oh, we got it. Oh yeah, it's too big. Yeah. 
Oh, it, it closed up. Alright, guys, this has never done this before. Doing this old way without internet, then do no looking up. Oh, look. You go up, push it through. Oh, alright. I think I'm gonna give that a uh, no go for round two. So, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. Nah, it'll hold. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna show my face. So embarrassed. <laughs> all right, all right. I've never done this before. All right, all you trolls, don't start. Keep positive. You make us complete. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, I love you. Peace. We're gonna go check out. Uh, do a little research and check it out YouTube and see if anyone done this before. So, yeah. So 30 degrees, 12 millimeter plate. Okay, we didn't land. What? He's using a DCN? Oh my God. Oh my God, I was so off. I was bad. All right, so I think I'll get this now. We are doing a lot of things wrong, guys. So I want to give a good shout out to uh, Northern Sweden Welding. Uh, he's got a good video on this Open Route 718. All right, so let's get into what I was doing wrong. So I'm uh, running on the wrong polarity. Uh, so we're going to switch that. Uh, we're going to run a bigger root gap. So we're going to keep the gap about the same size as the rod. That's what it looked like he was doing. So on the land, we're going to go about a 330 seconds land. And then we're going to run the 330 seconds rod about 85 amps. We're going to see how that feels. And it should lay in there nicely. I mean, his look pretty good. I hope I, hope I could do that. So let's give it a try and hope for the best. Most of the heat's going to be on this rod, not the plate. Let's do this again. So he was pushing a little bit. And he was just going at it, like staying steady. Oops. And you definitely don't want to go get behind your putter a little bit. I mean, you want to stay at the leading edge. That's my fault. I pushed way too hard. But it's just moving right along. Like, I'm not even whipping it. I'm just keeping it consistent. I mean... It's working. I mean, wow. That's cool, guys. I pushed too much. You don't want to push real hard, or unless I'm running a little cold. Uh, first thing I already noticed, the keyhole didn't explode. It was way easier to keep control of the puddle. I wasn't working my butt off coming up, riding on the bevel uh, an inch. It was just nice and steady. I just dragged in there or kind of pushed it in there. And, and it just was like just purring like a kitten. It was just going nice and smooth. It wasn't blowing up. Uh, the only thing I need to work on is keeping my rod at the center of the joint. If you look on this backside right here, you can see how I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of like a snake. I'm not melting both sides. I'm melting one side, then I jump to the right side. But uh, you think it's, not, it's going to go bad, but you just keep nice and steady and that's it. I mean, I need a little more practice, that's it. I think I'm gonna just stick around, practice a little bit, and keep messing up probably. But uh, so I need some helpful tips for sure. I need help, lots of help. Uh, if, make sure you guys subscribe to us. Make sure you guys subscribe and like us on every video. Rewatch other videos on different computers. All right, but anyways, <laughs> but anyways, if you're at your mom's house or your dad's house, you do it and walk away and put it on like, repeat on start from video one season one and go all the way down but anyways i'm man cop i'll see you guys next time have fun and stay safe and happy and happy holidays <laughs> hey it's halloween coming up <laughs> yeah, it's like a month away so <laughs> all right we gotta close this